guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be playing with these Pro Magnetic Lashes. It is actually the lash and liner combination and it is by the brand Eyelore London. Uh, they're in the style faux mink volume. Here's what they look like. Can you see them? Who is it? They're very pretty. Um, if you know me or if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I struggle big time with magnetic lashes in general. Like all of them just don't work out very well for me. So I paid about 18 bucks for these. Uh, no glue needed. It just sticks right to the liner. I thought maybe, oh my gosh, maybe this is going to be it. So um, I'm going to stop gabbing because I get a lot of shit for that in the comments and just get into it. All right, so I'm gonna get this sucker open. It says five minute application and you can wear it 15 times. Oh, they look pretty. Oh, hold on, I need to get some scissors. Got my scissors, wow. Hot glue, wow, hair. Um, I wanna use my scissors and cut off this. Well, who is it? I am going to, well first I'm gonna read the directions. Um, it says, ooh, three steps. Easy five minute application. Step one, apply the liner and allow it to dry. How long does it take to dry? Step two, apply two more coats. So three coats all together? Step three, apply magnetic lash to liner. Okay, so if you're bad at liquid liner, this is gonna be tough because you're gonna have to do it six times, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, great. What's this little paper in here? Oh, it comes with like removal tips. Oh, shake magnetic lash liner before use. Apply three layers, yep. Uh, allowing each layer to dry. This is what it looks like, isn't it cute? It shows you like, if you want a more cat eye, do that. All right. Um, Lay the lash on top of your natural lashes as close to the lash end as possible. Start at the outer corner of your eye. Oh, this is how you take it off. Start at the outer corner and pull it away. Remove with an oil-based cleanser, blah, blah, blah. So one thing I've always wondered about magnetic lashes, and I think I've said it in all of my magnetic lashes videos, is like how safe is it to have a magnet really close to your eyeball? I don't know, I feel like it's, it would be like vaping, like everybody thinks it's so good for you and then like, oh my gosh, it's not. Big surprise. I got this little guy out and he has four little magnets on the inside of him, can you see that? I think that's gonna work better than ones I've seen in the past, potentially. Uh, whenever I get lashes, I always sort of like, I don't know, make the band a little bit more flexible. All right, so I'm gonna set these down. But if you have to put this on anyway, then what's the difference from put just putting the glue on? You know what I mean? Oh, it's so black. It's nice, see? Super dark, super black, a bit shiny, it looks like. I'm someone who's the, I don't think that black liner looks that great on me. Like, I don't really do it that often because of my eye shape. I feel like it kind of closes my eye and I'm not fabulous at like making the wings match up, but I'm just gonna go for it today. Okay, excuse me while I do my first line. Just a nice thin layer. Here's layer one, and I feel like so much comes out on the little tip. It's a brush head, so it's not um, a felt tip, which I think is a little bit easier to work with, but it's a brush. Um, excuse my dog, he's just moving around. So, so much gets on it. I wonder how long this would last. Like, I wonder if this would last really 15 uses, and then you have to apply three layers on each eye each time, you know what I mean? But really, I don't wear fake lashes that often, like I said, so um, I feel like this would last a really long time if they look cute. So let's let this dry. How do you know when it's dry? There's no burning or anything, so that's good. And I even got a little bit like inside my eyeball right here. 
Excuse me. Okay, okay. Why don't I bring you in a little closer? There we go. Nice and close, huh? See, I just kind of feel like it makes my eyes look smaller when I wear liquid liner. All right, let me do another layer. I don't, I'm not sure why you need to do three layers. I suppose it gets easier if you get your first layer down and you do like a nice, decent, okay job. Then you can go in with your second layer, like clean it up. And I don't know, three layers seems like a lot. I'll say it one more time. Three layers seems like a lot. Stop falling down. Dry, dry. How do you know when you're dry? Seems dry, right? Okay, last layer, please. All right, I'm gonna take the lash and cut off this little bit right here that kind of sticks out, can you see? And like pokes you in the eye. I'm gonna chop that in the very front and then the very back. I wanna see if it will stick to my hand. Oh, it, no, it didn't. It didn't. Oh, nuts. But I only did one layer, so. Oh boy. The moment of truth. happening <gasps> it's on is it yes it is is it where are you going oh look I can move it around hey wow it's on Okay, so it's definitely on. It just like is, it moves around like nobody's business. Like what if the wind blows hard? Then she's out of here. Okay, I'm gonna put the other one on. I'm gonna put the other one on and then I'm gonna use some mascara to try to blend in my lashes with this and then maybe that will help to keep it in place because I just, I can't have that, right? That would be not good. Okay, let me get the, whoa. Let me get the other one out. One of the magnetic strips came off in my in the thingy. See, that's not cool. Darn. Hello, what are you doing? Oh, for Pete's sake. Maybe I could glue it back on. Wow. Oh, nope. Hey, stay there. No. What? How long has that been there? Oh, wow. My concealer is just so bad. It was so creepy. Oh my goodness. Just ignore that. I am using, uh, did I say mascara? I meant concealer. I'm using this concealer that I hate. I really don't like it. I should make a video about it so you guys don't waste your money on it. Let me know if you'd like to see that. All right, so like I said, if you like make the slightest movement, this puppy is coming right off. It's also a little shitty, it seems like. All right, I'm gonna get, this is new mascara I've never tried before. It's by Essence and it's called What the Fake. Let's see if, like, I wonder if you can even do this without it moving. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. What are you up to? Um, you know what wouldn't do this? Glue. Glue would just glue down and then it would be glued and it would stay in place. What about you over here? Where are you going? This is the first time though I will say, this is the first time that I've ever tried these man magnetic lashes and actually got it on my eye and it looks okay. Like it looks okay if I'm just like this. Wait, let me do this, these lashes over here and then it's gonna look okay if I'm so still. Excuse me. 
啊！啊！啊！ Oh, for goodness' sake! Now things have gone awry, really. Oh, goodness. Let me try to load up my mascara before I put it on. My dog's snoring so loud, seriously. But he's an old man. And I keep trying to wake him up with like whistles and he is not responding because he can't hear. All right, my mascara is on. Usually I would do it, you know, better and longer and spend more time on it, but if I'm wearing fake lashes, then, you know, you don't have to do that. No, get in here. So I went ahead and zoomed you back out and put on a little lip gloss and ugh, I just don't know. I feel like these look really pretty, right? I think they look good. They look pretty. They're the Style Faux Mink Volume in case I haven't said that yet. But if you just, what if you were to sneeze at you? Oh, oops. Look, this guy's up and she's up. I mean, it's easily adjusted. Stick it back down. I think these need to be stronger. I think the magnet needs to be a little bit tougher than this. Um, maybe if I put an even more eyeliner on, it would work better. But like three layers already seems like a lot to me, as I've said 25 times in this video. But if you put even more on, then you're definitely going to run up for 15 uses. So I, okay, here's what I think. Let me tell you. I think that this is good for um, if you're sitting and maybe like filming a video or um, going somewhere very quiet and not windy and uh, nobody walks by you too quickly and you don't have any allergies so you can't sneeze at all and there's not going to be any kids near or around your face, no pets touching them, no chances of anything touching them at all other than a delicate blink, then these would work great. These are perfect. They're just, they're so for you. But if you, you know, live the average life and you want to go outdoors and you need to at least like walk to your car or your Uber or you want to laugh and you want to have sneezes if necessary, then maybe go for the glue. I definitely give Eyelore like five out of 10 because the other ones I couldn't even get on my damn eyelashes, like not even close. And then when I did, they were like straight little like this, like so not cute at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Don't waste your money on this. $16 is a lot. I think you can get a pair of Lily lashes for like 20. I just looked it up and you can get a pair of Lily lashes, which I don't have, but I have used before um, for $26, which is $10 more, $26, almost $30 for lashes. Seems like kind of a lot. But if you can wear them a lot and they're easy to put on and they're comfortable and they make you feel gorgeous and you look beautiful in them, then maybe it's a good investment. You know what I mean? Like I would say it's better to spend $10 more and get the glue on kind. Um, with like, uh, it's just easier to work with a pair of nice lashes to get them to stick down. And then the biggest trick I can tell you about putting on fake eyelashes, you know, because I wear them all the time, uh, is to not have mascara on when you go to put them on. So if you put them onto your eyelids with no mascara, you don't have to compete with anything and come down, you know, like this versus just go straight on. So that's a little tip I can give you. So that's gonna do it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye. I shouldn't have just painted my nails. Do you hear my dog snoring? He snores because he's a bat. Uh, where's my earrings? I hope I wasn't too bright the whole 
fucking video. Something kids watch me, I can't say that. So I paid about $15 for these. No, I didn't.